the unique and historical fish skin artworks of He Zhe. Well, He Zhe is one of China's smallest ethnic groups with a population of only around 5,000. It's also known as the fish skin tribe. Although it is a very small ethnic group, but it has a very special and historical cultural legacy. Well, I'm also very curious about the fish skin clothes. Let's find out together. Well, guys, our program is broadcast on Twitter, Facebook, and YouTube. And if you have any question, you can leave your comments. Well, now we are visiting an exhibition center of He Zhe ethnic culture in Tongjiang city in northeast China's Heilongjiang province. Well, they are doing the creation work. Well, guys, look, now I'm wearing the fish skin clothes. Well, guys, this is the hat, and then this is the coat, the pants, all made of fish skin. It is real. This is also my first time to try on fish skin clothes. I'm also very excited. Well, there are some patterns, very beautiful, and we are told that this is the cloud has also has a very good meaning and guys you can see it preserved the skin color quite well and this is salmon and a very big fish well um, the artists tell us that uh, to make the fish skin clothes needs a lot of fish of course and take my size for an example well it needs around 250 kilograms of fish guys if there is anyone in your country who makes fish skin clothes and you can leave your comments to let us know because in China of all the 56 ethnic groups He Zhe is the only ethnic group who makes the ethnic costumes with fish skin during the procedure of the fish skin clothes making and it's not that simple it's kind of complicated um, first of all you should buy the fish and take away the fish skin and then dry the fish skin and then to hammer them with a very special wooden equipment well uh, to finish all the procedures it takes about uh, one month well to present all in our program it it is clear that impossible but today we are very lucky to invite a very professional He Zhe Taylor and she is Yu Wenfeng and she will present the major steps of the making of uh, raw materials for our audience. Yu 老师您好, 不好意思打扰您了, 看到您正在创作, 呃, 想请您给我们的观众演示一下制作鱼皮衣的一些主要的步骤, 可以吗? 好,好,好,那咱们往那边走。好,做鱼皮首先是压鱼皮。嗯,好,来,咱们往那边走。well, guys, now she will present the major steps of making the He Zhe fish skin clothes. Well. Well, guys, these are the equipment for the raw materials. Well, this is the already dried fish skin, and she is putting the corn flour on the fish skin. And they have different layers. So combine them together. Uh, to make it more drier, uh, to also is to preserve the color of the fish skin. Uh, well, we see guys, this is quite ancient method. But totally handmade. There's no electrical equipment. So in a very tight way, mm. combine mm. them together. Okay. Mm. Oh. 这个叫, oh, well, guys, this is called Ge Ji Ge. It's in He Zhe language. Ge Ji Ge. Ah, okay. In Chinese language, it's called Mu Zha. Okay. So it's totally made of wood. 
is, as I mentioned earlier, this is from one side to the other. Well, Yu Wenfeng tells us uh, she will keep uh, constantly doing this until the dried uh, fish skin becomes very soft, suitable for the sewing. Well. Uh, lift up and down. Gradually, guys, I Wow. So gradually, I know this skill. Ah, oh, okay. <laughs> wow, it needs a lot of strength, I think. So to prepare the raw materials, well, needs takes time out and also takes the physical stress. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, thank you so much. <laughs> well guys, it's not easy work, you see. <laughs> well Yu Lao Shi Um Yu's hands not that soft. The raw materials not that easy way. Yu Lao Shi see this is very soft. It's just like cotton. Well, it touches really like cotton. It's dried fish skin. Unbelievable. Well, after all these important steps, the dried fish skin already very soft, and the tailors, like Yu Wenfeng, they will uh, piece them together according to the pattern and the color of the fish skin and doing the sewing work by hand. Well, we know that uh, from the raw material preparation to, to finally finish the sewing of one um, to one suit of fish skin clothes, it will take another one month. So generally speaking, from buying the fish to finally, to finally finish a suit of fish skin clothes, it takes at least two months. Well, it's not that easy work, guys. Well, we see uh, Yu Wenfeng is continuing with her creation. So now let's enjoy walking, watching. Well, guys, this is Yu Wenfeng, and she is a very professional He Zhe tailor. And now she is doing the creation work of fish skin clothes. Well, He Zhe is one of China's smallest ethnic groups and with a total population of only 5,000. Well, uh, although it is quite a small ethnic group, but it has a very special and historical cultural legacy. Well, Yu tells us that the fish skin clothes already has a history of thousands of years. Well, she is doing the sewing work. Well, in the past, the Hezhe people mainly lived by fishing. They not only cooked fish for food, but also made fish clothes. Well, such as mine. It's very beautiful and it's also very durable. Uh, therefore, the Hezhe people is also called the fish skin tribe. Well, the fish skin clothes was enlisted on China's national intangible cultural heritage in the year 2006. And the Yu Wenfeng, she is the only national inheritor of this skill. Well, Mrs. Yu is 68 years old, and she learned this skill from her mother when she was very young. And Yu Wenfeng also wants to pass down the skill to her children. And now she has three sons, and they all get married. And she begins to teach all her three daughters-in-law to make the fish skin clothes. Well, we know that uh, Yu Wenfeng is one of the few He Zhe artists here and trying to keep on this unique traditional cultural legacy. 
and she tells us that this fish skin clothes skills has a history of thousands of years. Regarding the history of fish skin clothes, it has a very complex story. In the past, Hezhou people used to wear the fish skin clothes. As Hezhou people developed new lifestyles in modern society, Hezhou began to wear the ordinary cotton clothes just like everyone else. While the fish skin clothes gradually faded out of Hezhou's people's life, only put in a museum for display even on the verge of extinction. Well, good news is, as the central government provides support to protect and promote the traditional culture of all ethnic groups, fish skin clothes have started to regain its glamour. And most of the fish skin clothes made by Yu Wenfeng are already sold to museums for display. There are also collectors from other countries, such as Britain, Japan, and Canada. They are all attracted by such unique and historical skill. Well, because not many people acquire this unique skill, Yu also delivers lectures in some universities to attract young people's attention. Well, this year, Yu is glad that another four young people came to find her and want to learn this special skill. Mrs. Yu also gets support from the government to better keep the tradition. For example, she receives subsidy from the government so that she has no worries about making the living. And she is also provided with many opportunities to take part in the International Cultural Customs Exhibition for better displaying the fish skin clothes. Well, guys, Yu Wenfeng tells us that she has a very open attitude for passing down this traditional Hezhou culture. No matter you are from Hezhou or not, no matter which country you are from, as long as you are interested in this skill and as long as you have the resolve to learn it, Yu Wenfeng will teach all she knows. Well, we can see that all these clothes are made by Yu Wenfeng. Yu 老师, um, 哎, 这些作品都是您做的吗? Uh, uh, so this is, um, these uh, fish skin clothes um, are made by Yu Wenfeng and her students. Well, this for babies, very cute. Uh, 老师, 我们看到这个有, 有两个, 小孩的衣服啊，非常可爱。您能给我们介绍一下吗？ Oh, well, guys, we see, um, we see that. 老师，稍等一下啊。Well, mm -hmm. guys, we see this is the fish clean clothes, fish skin clothes for the children. Well, uh，我我觉得这应该是个女孩，这是个男孩，我猜的对吗？嗯，对。啊，对。Well, uh, I I'm guessing that this is a girl, this is a boy, because I see. They have different patterns and different styles. This is like this way. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, it's similar like mm -hmm. mine, so I think it's, mm -hmm. it's girl. Mm -hmm. uh, 老师,麻烦您给我们介绍一下这个衣服上, mm -hmm. 我们看到有很多特别漂亮的这个花纹和这个款式, mm -hmm. 您给我们介绍一下它有什么寓意? Mm -hmm. 这个是女生的,是带大襟的. Uh, uh, well, guys, this is a girl. This is a girl, mm -hmm. okay. 这个是鱼皮擦的花, 这个有三的形状. Uh, mm -hmm. so, uh, Yo tells us this pattern is like a mountain. It's like a mountain. And this is the most complete So this is a complete fish skin. And this is this style is for girls. It's like this way. And this style is for boys. So different patterns, different styles. Hey, Lao Shen, you continue. So this mountain represents the natural environment around Hezhou's living condition. Okay. Ah, so guys, it's very vivid. This is a mountain and this is the cloud in the sky. So it's very beautiful natural scenery. It's like pursues a color combination. Uh, 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 u
啊，这个是小男孩的衣服。嗯，你看他这个贴边。这个贴边是黑的，完了这嘎就搁的白花。嗯嗯。这个云，这个这个 S 钩呢，是我们过去最老的那个那个花样。啊、oh, mm. ，So this is like a S. This is very very traditional pattern of Hezhe people. 就是有很久的悠久的历史。Mm. In a very ancient way, this is S. Well, okay. 嗯。啊，这个小孩呢，这两头就是龙。啊。完了，当面夹一个鱼。Oh. 这就是我们赫氏族的老人的望子成龙，哦、oh, 嗯，意味着他将来有个更光明的前景。嗯、对、ah, 对对,对、嗯，好的，哦、oh, ，老师，麻烦您给一个特写，这个 ，so this is dragon and this is fish, so it means, uh, wish the boy has a very bright future. Wow, very good meaning. 好的，嗯、uh, ，谢谢老师您，哎，打扰您创作了，<笑>谢谢，哎，好 ，Well, um, you. Okay. Well, Yu Wenfeng tells us that uh, Hezhe people likes to combine natural elements into the clothes, such as just now, as we mentioned, the deer means a very sweet girl, and the dragon means uh, the boy has a very bright future. So very interesting. Well, guys, we see there's also uh, an outsuit for, well, for men. Quite large clothes. 让我们的摄影老师从头到脚给他一个特写。This is the hat, and I guess this is swallow. It's like swallow. It's like animals. Well, this is like, it's like cloud or sea waves. Hezhe people likes to combine the natural elements into the clothes, and also like to add the animals. For such a suit, it is sold at a price about 15,000 yuan, and that's around $2,000. Okay, let's continue. Well now, guys, this is an exhibition center of Hezhe culture in Tongjiang city in northeast China, Heilongjiang province. And besides the clothes, and we see there are also other fish skin artworks, such as accessories and paintings, and now let's have a look. These fish skin clothes are made by Yu Wenfeng, and it's, it's very cute, it's for babies, and we can see it's very soft, just like cotton. Okay. 让我们的摄像老师给一个特写, and uh, yes, guys, can you guess? And now I can tell them clearly, this is for girls, this is for boys. It's separated in the middle, so this is for boys, and the typical, typical S, ancient pattern for boys. And this is, in this way, is similar as mine, is a girl. And this is a cloud. Very beautiful. It preserves the color of the fish skin very well, and it's also the very cute shoes. Well, really lovely. I really love them. <laughs> Guys, this is a bag. Bag. And this is fish, this is clouds or sea waves. Very delicate. Ah, yeah. yeah. This, is, this is the shoes for. Babies, 这真的有婴儿能穿吗？啊，这个就是做做为纪念品啊。OK, so you tells us apparently no babies can wear such small shoes, and this is for decoration and as tour tourist souvenirs, and it's quite popular. 这个很受欢迎哈，很可爱。嗯 ，OK, very lovely. OK, wow, this is this is for the kitchen. <laughs> this is for the kitchen, and also these things could be used in daily life, and it's quite durable. 老师像这样的，大概它能持久到多长时间呢？这种我感觉它很嗯。这个皮子如果要是洗那个整好了以后送到博物馆，能保存二百来年。哇哦！因为我把里头的油都吸出来了啊，吸不出来不行。哇哦！ Well, you tells us that it is quite durable, as well as it's well preserved. It can stay for two hundred years. Well, guys.
Oh, this is a very small one. Just uh, now, uh, you prepare, do the preparing work. It's called ge ge. You remember? It's the wooden equipment. It's a small one. Mm, for display, mm. 就表, 就是给游客看的, mm. mm. uh, okay. in this way. So I have a deep impression of this. Well, um, mm. Mm. Uh, these are the fish skin accessories. Very, very beautiful. Well, guys, can you recognize this? Okay. Uh, this is. Chinese character Fu means happiness. Well, I, I believe many friends now they can recognize Chinese is Fu. Can you, can you tell? It means happiness, very good meaning. And this is fish. And if you are familiar with Chinese culture, um, fish means prosperous, becoming rich. <laughs> okay. Uh, there are also many fish skin paintings. Well, this is typical countryside in northern China. Well, in the past, Hezhou people made, made their living by fishing. And since the 1960s, with the help of local authority, they turned to farming and the livestock breeding. And now, in recent years, they gradually turned to uh, tourism. And so, as we can see that the traditional fish skin skills have also been developed and innovated. Therefore, the fish skin accessories, the fish skin uh, paintings are also created to meet the uh, demands of the tourists. And now they are very popular tourist souvenirs and are also very good cultural products. Well, uh, these two ladies, they are the students of Yu Wenfeng. Um, because Yu tells us that she is very glad that this year she has another four young students because they want to, they are very interested in this uh, skill and they want to learn it. And I know they are not from Hezhe. But uh, uh, as, as just uh, as I mentioned earlier, as long as you are interested and as long as you have the resolve and you can come here and to learn the skill from Yu Wenfeng. Well, I think they are very... Hey, hello. Hey, you are doing this creative work, right? Yes, okay. Can I go and see it? Yes, okay. Well, now let's join them. This is she painted a flower on the fish skin. This is fish skin. And she painted on this and she do the cutting. Okay. Oh, this is very small one. Okay. So, um, well, the fish skin painting is another modernized form of fish skin uh, skills. And compared with the fish skin clothes, uh, generally speaking, to finish a suit of clothes needs at least two months. And um, but to finish a small painting, and maybe this like this one, what time should it take? This is about two or three days. Two or three days, huh? Because it doesn't take long time. Ah, that there is this, like, for example, how long should it take? Two or three days. Two or three days, right? Ah, two or three days. Like this one, the time will be longer. Ah, right. This one will take about two or three days. Yes. This one will take about two or three days. This one will take about two or three days. Ah, right. This one will take about two or three days. Ah, right. This one will take about two or three days. Ah, right. Uh, paintings needs different time. For this, it needs uh, uh, It needs about uh, two or three days because they are very small decoration. And for this one, but for this one, it's also very hard for me. It's also very complicated for me. But for the lady, it, she only needs two or three hours. She can finish this. And for this one, I think it's also very delicate, but they only need one hour. 
这样老师，麻烦您帮我拍一下他们在制作的这个过程。Well, guys, we see there's no electrical equipment, and they do they do all this only by hand. It's handmade, and I think the imagination, the design, and the skill are the are the all the necessary elements for this creation. And each one is, I, I really love this. Is not mass production, and each one is unique of its kind. Focus on different、uh, themes. Well, some focus on the ethnic traditions and get ideas from the traditional、uh, stories. Well, some focus on the modern elements, and to depending on what the tourists like. Well. It seems really interesting. I really want to have a try. Ah, 打扰一下，我可以加入一下嘛？就说因为我很觉得这个东西很有意思，但是我从来没接触过这个东西。这个这个好操作吗？嗯，好操作。啊，行，那麻烦您能简单教我一下吗？嗯，来，像这个。Well, guys, now I'm have a try. 嗯，那这个。啊、uh, ，所以所以这个是这个制作流程就是这个样子，对，我们画好了，然后首先是在这个鱼皮上画这个图案，是吗？对对对对。Uh, so guys, first you should draw the pattern on the fish skin. For this one is like a flower. Uh, uh, so I will try this one. 对，这鱼皮的背面画啊。嗯。啊 ，OK。然后你就随便找一个剪口，嗯，然后顺着这边缘剪就。It's a little bit like paper cutting. OK， 这有一点点像剪纸哈。对对对。嗯。做鱼皮画之前都得先练剪纸啊，先练剪纸。Well, it's 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 not that hard. I I mean the material is not not that hard. It's it's kind of like like paper. 这个这个鱼皮是已经也是干制过的吗？对，还是也是熟好。那这个熟的过程跟那个制作衣服是一样的，是吗？不一样。啊，不一样。制作衣服比这麻烦的多。哦、oh.。So guys, this is already dried. Oh, sorry. This is already dried fish skin, and I try my best to cut a flower pattern. This is a bit not very good. Very good, very good. 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 Well, guys, it's not that easy. It's not that easy as it looks like. Well, I already tried my best. At first, the technique is kind of like the paper cutting, but the two ladies tell me that it's more complicated than the paper cutting. Before you do the creation of fish skin painting, you should practice a lot paper cutting. And、uh, of course, for this, it's too complicated for me. But it's a lot of fun, and I I really enjoy it. Well, guys,、um, that's probably the end of our program. And、um, this is an exhibition center of Hezhou culture in、um, Tongjiang City in northeast China's Tongjiang Province. And I hope you enjoy it. And、uh, they are the artist and of the. Fish skin skills, and as we mentioned earlier, as as long as you are interested in this, as long as you have the resolve to learn it,、um, you can come here, and、uh, Yuan Feng will teach all she knows to about the fish skin clothes. Well, guys,、um, that's the end of our program today, and、uh, I hope you like it. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye bye.